Hello, uh, in this video we will talk about uh, Firebase and Amazon Web Services. What are the differences between Firebase and Amazon Web Services? So let's go ahead. So uh, Firebase is basically developed by Google built and maintained by Google, whereas AWS is a cloud services platform from Amazon. So uh, one major difference is that Firebase is basically just a backend as a service. Uh, it means that you have a, a, a web application or a mobile application and you have a front end for this and you want to have a back end which will have some basic things like database uh, which every uh, you know uh, front end web or uh, mobile app needs you know uh, uh, hosting services google analytics machine learning um, or uh, authentication services uh, file storage services etc so you have all those things, uh, you know, connected together uh, in uh, Firebase, and you can simply use this as a backend to your mobile app or web app. Whereas Amazon Web Services is kind of, you know, it's it's something more than just uh, a backend as a service. Uh, it's you can from Amazon you can use some. Uh, some tools for example developer tools you can uh, you know buy them as you need pay them on monthly basis or whatever and and use them for developing your applications or any other tools that you might need you can also have a, a platform as a service for example you can have different platforms like you can have your own linux unix or whatever you can have your own whatever apple operating system uh, you can uh, kind of pay for it and kind of use it from anywhere around the world you know you can remotely access your platform and you can also have infrastructure as a service for example you can have your servers you can have your disk spaces you can have your databases whatever everything infrastructure your IT infrastructure your your deployment de infrastructure you know when you want to deploy your apps and distribute your apps to the users you can all have have all that on on amazon web services of course you can distribute you can have this distribution services of your apps also on firebase uh, but you don't have this platform as a service and software as a service or software tools as services in the in the firebase cloud So as you see here, Amazon provides software tools, platforms, and infrastructure, you know, so it provides everything. So whereas Firebase is just a backend as a service. Next thing is uh, it's very cheap in price. You have this Spark plan and Blaze plan. This Spark plan is the free of cost plan. You can, your apps, you know, if for, uh, for a certain number of users, which is also quite a lot, you can you can have everything your storage your uh, network your uh, analytics your uh, database everything your real-time database everything uh, kind of free of cost in firebase and if your app really grows into let's say 100 200 thousand uh, users then you can buy this blaze plan of uh, uh, firebase uh, I can show you here see this if you go to pricing then you can see that you have this free spark plan and this pay as you go blaze plan and this spark plan also is you know very generous you have you see this much stored data network access 10 gig per month document write 200k per day document read 500k per day you see that so cloud functions invocations 125k per month everything you know hosting yes uh, 10 GB stored space, 10 GB per month transfer. And of course, if you need more, if your users have gone up to hundreds of thousands, you can buy this uh, Blaze plan and then pay as you need, you know, these, these services. Uh, 
whereas amazon amazon has uh, you know the services plan uh, these pricing plan for amazon is uh, is is not so generous as aws aws you have 12 month uh, fee trial and then you can kind of you know uh, and then you need and then you need to pay for your amazon uh, so, uh, web services because it's just for uh, you know 12 months that you have this these services for free in in amazon web services aws uh, so next is you know uh, firebase is set up easy to set up and configure uh, of course, uh, Amazon is not so easy to set up and configure because you have so many things, you know, the software, your platforms, your infrastructures, and they provide you much more things. It's much more flexible, but it doesn't, you know, uh, it, it, it takes a lot of time to configure. It's a bit hard to configure, you know, then, um, then Firebase, where you have all those things connected together. In Amazon, all these things are not connected together. You have to combine the cloud storage with database, with your app notifications, with your analytics, with your machine learning, with everything. And if you want some tools and you want platforms also and infrastructure, you, you know, kind of combine uh, all that but even if you need only aws as your backend for your app then you need to combine all those these cloud messaging and hosting and all those you know uh, analytics and machine learning and authentication stuff but in firebase everything is connected together it's very easy to configure for you and connect to your app and use it as a backend so it's more like a backend for applications and then there is one more difference between amazon and uh, firebase that is also very notable difference, uh, Amazon supports both uh, uh, NoSQL and uh, uh, SQL databases. You know, we have these SQL databases, we have different tables, rows, where employees, their salaries, and they, maybe there will be some other things in this table and these tables are connected together, you know. So this is kind of this relation, relational database structure is that this Amazon supports that and also supports this. NoSQL database structure. NoSQL is more flexible database structure. It has a lot of database models, column based, document based, also uh, key value pairs, also. So, whereas uh, uh, Firebase is only NoSQL uh, based, you know, Firebase, Firebase only supports NoSQL database. So, you have to decide also if, for example, your application has such kind of requirements or such kind of uh, you know application that it needs uh, uh, this sql databases that you cannot use uh, fire uh, you cannot use firebase you can only use amazon web services but if your application uh, has, you can you know work with no sql databases of course then firebase is enough for you uh, so the different features of firebase are database real time notification setup hosting cloud services analytics machine learning etc you can also see these uh, uh, different products here let's say here you know cloud firestore cloud functions authentication services hosting cloud storage you see real-time databases you can write everything in in, in seconds milliseconds real time and then you have this app distribution is also you can distribute your app using this uh, firebase cloud predictions google analytics and you know whatever remote configuration modify your app without deploying a new version so these are some of the features of aws cloud uh, on the other hand, sorry, these are some of the features of Firebase Cloud. On the other hand, you have now this Amazon Cloud features. It offers, of course, much more. It offers you tools, softwares. It offers you storage spaces and messaging services, application and blockchain and machine learning, mobile services. So it offers you everything. It offers you platform as a service. It offers you uh software as a service and infrastructure as a service everything not just a simple backend you know for the it's much more than that uh, so next is uh in firebase no need to program or code anything ready made backend here you need to configure things and connect them together the most common things that you need so you know so actually that's what uh, 
are some of the common differences between Firebase and Amazon AWS. Uh, of course, both are both of these are cloud storage and backend uh, implementation. So you will focus more on your app development, of course, and rather than on the backend. Yeah. So here are some of some more. Uh, uh, differences between Firebase and AWS cloud services. So as I said before, uh, Firebase has no software tools or platforms available. It's purely a backend uh, for your web or mobile applications. It's purely a backend as a service. Uh, AWS is more flexible than Firebase, of course, because you can connect the things together, configure them together, and you have much more options available, also softwares and platforms. Uh, Firebase is more suitable for smaller projects and startups to save upfront costs and save time. Yeah, so for smaller projects and startups, you use normally Firebase because it's, you know, everything is connected together. There's not much difficulty and you don't need a lot, you know, for an for a simple app or something or normal apps. But if you want or if you're a big company, you might want to use Amazon Web Services. Most of the big companies are using Amazon Web Services. Actually, Amazon captures the 70 percent of the market. A lot of big companies are are having Amazon, Uber, etc. For example, they have Amazon cloud on the back end uh, then firebase is easy to use and structured ui of course easy to configure uh, firebase is built <coughs> built and sorry built and managed by google uh, so not as common in big companies as aws of course so aws you not so suitable for smaller startups you don't need to pay those costs after 12 months for you know, I do not waste to need to spend time in the in the in the configurations also configuring everything uh, it has much more cost after the 12 months first free 12 months are over uh, most big brand companies are using Amazon web services yeah so these are some of the differences between Firebase and uh, Amazon Web Services. So, of course, Amazon is uh, once again uh, it's from Amazon, AWS, Firebase is from Google, and uh, yeah. So it depends what you need. If you need something small, you need to develop your first app or a small startup. Just Firebase is enough for you. If you need something big, if you are a big company, you need a lot of things. If you need your infrastructure, if you need your platform, if you need your tools everything and if you need you know more flexibility in connecting the things together then amazon web services are the best choice for you